بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Hi again As I promised yesterday Today's uh, session is, as you may notice from the first slide It's about writing a formal letter Unit 8, Ticket to English Okay, so If you still remember in the previous units we have studied how to write a, an informal letter and we have uh, discussed many things about this type of letter the language in the informal letter is very very familiar you can speak, you can write the way you like you can just uh, use some expressions that we use with friends, no problem the format is not that very important but today things are different when we want to write a formal letter, we should be formal first of all. We've got to be formal in our language, in the form, and in the way we address the addressee. Okay, so formal letter. When writing a formal letter, there is a format that you have to use. The format is very essential in this type of letters. To remember the format, think about traffic officer directing traffic. Remember this uh, metaphor. Look at the top on the right, your address and date. The top hand corner is where the stop sign is read for stop. You are not going anywhere and neither is the date going to change. Therefore, this is where you have to put these details. Red for stop. Okay, students? Good. Now, where the letter is going to, that is where you write these details. Green for go. Name, company's name, business name, address. Next is to whom the letter is addressing. Dear Manager, Dear Secretary General Okay, very important First paragraph Introduce your reason for writing Not yourself Okay Please remember the person you are writing to is not your friend So keep it formal Don't ask him how he is or tell him that you are pleased to be writing to him. He doesn't have time for chit chat. He is the manager and time is money. Okay? Please forget about the way you, you chat with your friends on the WhatsApp or on the SMSs. It's very far from what you should do now. You've got to be very, very formal. Second and third paragraph give more details as to what you want and your reasons for writing you've got to be very direct don't move neither right nor left go straight to the to the objective the purpose of your writing okay the fourth paragraph what solutions you will be happy with to settle this situation okay it's very important and the greetings are very important. Yours faithfully, your name and surname. Of course, signature. Okay, let's recapitulate. This is the format, the layout of a formal letter. We have the green, uh, sorry, we have the red light at the top, your address and date. It's there we should go, there we should, where you should stop. And then the green is to who the letter is going to. Okay? And then the blue, whom you speaking to, dear mister. First paragraph, second and third, and then the fourth paragraph, and greetings, your name. Good. For an application, we have some useful sentences, okay? Very important useful sentences. In reply to your advertisement in... Uh, your newspaper whatever the day okay and the 
then I would like to apply for the post, the job of uh, which was advertised in uh, on date, okay, the day. I wish to apply for admission to have a job of secretary or whatever, okay? Please, as requested, find enclosed letters of reference from. I am 25 years old, whatever. My qualifications are as follows. List, please, your qualifications. And in I, I, am gradu I graduated from and I majored in university, whatever, okay? And then, last one, I would be glad to come for an interview at any time that is convenient for you. And for an inquiry email, what do we say? I am interested or I wish to learn more about. I would be most grateful if you could supply us with the following information. I would like to get a description of, uh, do you supply does it include dinner, equipment, activities? What is the price of uh, per day, per week? I would appreciate it if you could. Uh, would you kindly? Okay. Or I wonder if you could possibly. Or I would be grateful if you could possibly. You have many expressions. Okay. And for a complaint, application for a complaint, uh, sorry, an email for a complaint, I will, I, we can say, I wish to draw your attention to the problem that we have in our neighborhood, okay? I would suggest that you should this, do this and that. I suggest that immediate steps be taken to, to make a stop to this problem. I wish to complain about uh, the lack of uh, technology facilities in our school, okay? I look forward to a prompt reply, reply and hope that you will take into consideration. Ça veut dire, euh, أتمنى أن تأخذ هذا هذه شكوى بعين الاعتبار to take something into consideration. I am really dissatisfied with the way. Okay. Good. This is a sample of a formal letter. I am sure you will remember this type of email we've done it at Classroom. Dear Mr. Secretary General, I am writing this email to urge you to give priority to the issue or the issue of homelessness in my country. You see, the first, the first sentence is very straightforward. You tell us what do you want, okay? And then, as you know, here you state the problem. As you know, there are thousands of homeless people who are deprived of many rights. First, they don't have a shelter. Many of them sleep on the street without blankets. Second, they are discriminated by people who pass by them. Finally, many children die due to snowstorms or to cold or to hunger or whatever. And then the third paragraph, on behalf of the homeless, we appeal to you for a compassionate donation to support these people. We would highly appreciate it if you could build more shelters in my country so that these children would feel safe and protected. I'm looking forward to hearing from you soon. Yours sincerely. And you write your name, Khalid. You see, this sample is very clear, very simple, very short. You don't need to to go far away, you just uh, stick to the to the instructions that I have given you in the in the previous slides. Look at the first one. Look at the first sentence. I'm writing this email to urge you to give. This is very important. You always at the first sentence you tell the addressee what do you want, and then you state the problem in paragraph two, and then paragraph three. You try to appeal, okay, to urge the addressee to do something for these poor people. I wish you, you, you have had an idea now about how to write a formal letter. Now you have a task. It's from your book, textbook. The cycle of poverty will never stop unless we give priority to literacy. You join a million email campaign send an email to the United Nations to urge this organization 
give priority to literacy. Please respect the steps of a form letter, the format, and all the parts of a form letter, and try to be as simple as possible. Your feedback at English for All Facebook group, Facebook group, okay? Please, I will be waiting for your feedback in no more than two days. Thank you so much. Stay home. Mustafa Mohib, your English language teacher, was with you and keen on seeing you in the next lesson, inshallah. Thank you.